think we're going to start. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, my name is Hernan Wilkinson, um, and I'm going to show something that happened to me this year. Um, this is a programmer's conference, so I'm going to program. Okay, I'm going to show you what I did uh, a couple of months ago, implementing a refactoring in Quiz uh, using TDD. And the story comes like this. Uh, this year, I, I decided to use Quiz as an experiment to teach objects at the University of Buenos Aires. Uh, I wanted to know if it was a good idea or not. And uh, I was giving a class uh, in a company with Maximo Prieto about object-oriented design. And the people was working, doing the exercises. And I was telling Maximo about using Quiz and what I like it and whatever. Uh, but I also told him about that uh, a problem that I saw with Quiz is that it doesn't have refactorings, automatic refactorings. And he said, oh, no, no, so no, if it doesn't have refactorings, I, I won't use it. And I say, how long could it be to implement a refactoring? So we started to talk about it. And while the people were, were doing the exercises, we decided to implement a refactoring. And we implemented using it using TDD, and that's what I'm going to show, yeah? And um, I was so happy with what we did. We implemented a refactoring, and we're going to implement one in less, less than an hour, in half an hour. Uh, I, I was so happy with the, you know, it was so easy to do it, and I really liked the result, that uh, I started to show this to uh, non-small talkers, you know, people that work with Java and other languages, and they were shocked about the result and, uh, you know, to, to be, and, and because they saw that we can build our own tools and it's very easy when you do it with a small talk. So um, that's what I'm going to do, okay? So now I'm going to have the mic. <clears throat> uh, and the refactoring I'm going to implement is a rename instance variable. As you know, the rename instance variable uh, renames an instance variable. <laughs> and how it does it? Let's say we have this uh, class, example, rename instance variable, when uh, v1. And, if you, and let's say that we have method 1 that references v1. So uh, if you come here and rename instance variable v1 with v2, then <clears throat> you get v2 as a new instance variable. And in the method, uh, the reference to v1 is changed by v, v2. Okay, so let's start writing our uh, code. So as I said, I'm, I'm going to do it using TDD, okay? Rename inst var test. Uh, so, <clears throat> oh, something I forgot. I'm going to make questions and those that answer correctly uh, or not, but at least answer, <laughs> will receive a t-shirt from 10 pints. <laughs> 70. 70. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, let's say we have to start doing, uh, doing this uh, refactoring. So, which test would you start, uh, which will be the first test to write? That's the first question. How do we start? You know, when you do TDD, the idea is to start with small things and then incrementally start getting the result. So, uh, which one do you think, which one could be the test, the first test? The old instance variable does not exist. Okay, that's one possible, yeah. Another one, okay, he won a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> then then uh, you can claim it. I have, I'm going to put it here. To change, to rename an instance variable, yeah. The class exists? Well, it, it has to exist because if not, you cannot rename the instance variable. Let's say, let's say that it exists, okay? Let's take that as an axiom. If the new variable Yeah. Okay, that's another possibility. Okay, I'm going to start to 
from one that is very similar to the one that James suggested. I'm going to start for, I'm, I usually, when I begin, I put numbers, but uh, that's, I don't know. Um, so, um, new instance variable uh, is added. So, what, what I'm going to do is assert that in the class that I'm going to refactor, include, uh, if I ask inst var names, it includes the new variable, okay? That's the assertion that I want to have for this uh, first test. Uh, a good idea of uh, when you start with uh, from, uh, from the assertion is that the assertion tells you everything you need for the test. So that's why I started with the assertion. So now what I need is the class to refactor. And here is when you know, the beauty of Smalltalk begins, because how do you create a class in a Smalltalk? It's very simple, just to object we send the message subclass, uh, let's call it uh, class to refactor. Instance variable name, let's say we will have an old, a new, yes, old is the variable name of the one that you want to rename, new is the name of the variable that you want you know, to rename to, Maybe they're not the best names. And let's put that in refactoring test in that category. So now I have the class. Uh, and now I have to create the refactoring. Rename uh, instance variable from old to new in class to refactor. Yes, and now what we need to do is apply, I'm, I'm calling it apply, it could be execute, whatever, apply the refactoring. Yes? <clears throat> uh, so, okay, that's, that could be our first test. Yes? So let's try to run it and see what happens. Uh, here in quiz, we added a, a new, well, it's a shortcut where you can press command T and it saves the methods and runs the test. And if the test runs, runs all the tests of the suite. So it allows you to do TDD pretty easily. So now I'm going to do that and something went wrong. Wait a minute. Yeah, there you go. Uh, define new class here. Yeah. So okay, it doesn't understand from to uh, so this is the old variable, the new variable. Of course, I, I wouldn't use these names, but uh, I'm kind of uh, in a hurry. A class to refactor. And what I'm going to do is to create a new instance of the class and initialize it with from initialize init okay and now let's proceed now I have to implement the initialize and in the initialize I'm gonna save all var in an instance variable I'm gonna call old the new one and class to refactor There we go. So that's going to be an instance variable, that two, that two. Okay, so now we have the initialization, and now I have to implement the apply. So the easiest implementation here is just to a class to refactor, add instance var name, new. Right? Cool. Okay, so we have our first test running. Yes? Um, well, there is a problem with this test, is, and is that I'm not removing the class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after asserting that everything is correct, I'm going to remove the class, uh, remove from system. 
And of course, I should put that in an ensure, but you all know that, and it doesn't make sense to, to you know to do that right right now. So let's see if it's working. It's working. Okay. So that's the first test. Okay. We have our uh, first step working. So now the second test. Okay. Okay. The one that he said, and that's correct. Uh, so I'm going to do the second test, all inst var is removed, okay? And what we need is, uh, after applying, I want to deny that includes old. Is that correct? Yeah? So I run the test, it fails because of the deny, so I will debug it. And we all know why it's not working, and that's because we are not removing remove inst var name old. Yes? Cool. Now we have the two tests running. Yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the next test? Yes? <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> cool. So, I don't know if you understood what he said, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but what he said is, if you have an instance of that class, uh, the object reference by that, uh, the instance variable old, has to be referenced in the instance variable new in the same instance after applying the refactoring. Cool. Yeah, that's true. That's another one. So the third test is um, reference. Um, how can we call this? Um, Present instances. Variable keeps value. <laughs> New variable uh, references. Same object as all variable. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting to see how everybody thinks different names for the same thing. You know, it's uh, that's something you know interesting to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. So the question is, how do we create an instance? That's very simple. Instance class to refactor new. Yeah, let's call it instance. And now we have to put something in all. And then we have to check that new references that. So here, there are two ways of doing it. If you are in a small talker, for sure, you will do this. Instance, inst var name uh, old, put, I don't know, one. Yes. And we break encapsulation and change that instance variable. But if you are not in a, in a small talker and you don't understand these kind of things, and that happened to me, they say, oh, what? Uh, wait a minute. Shouldn't you have a method, a setter, to do that? And, you know, all those kind of questions. So I say, okay, we can do that. We can, a uh, class to refactor, compile uh, a method, let's call v1, uh, old, or whatever, setter. <laughs> New value, no setter. <laughs> There you go. And there, in a to all, you assign new value, okay? And then to instance, you send the message old with one, okay? Same thing. Uh, and I'm showing this because it's really interesting how the people react when they see that they can compile a method inside a test. And, and that's one of the beauty of this, uh, for at least what I like of this example, is that uh, you are doing TDD and your test data are classes. They, they, they are the same things that you are working with. So, anyway, um, let's do. Yes. New, yeah, for sure, yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but let's go to the last, uh, the, the easiest way to do it. And now we want to assert that instance uh, 
uh, if we ask for inst var name new should be equal equals one. Yes? No. What's the problem? <laughs> okay, but we are doing TDD. We are doing we are doing TDD. <laughs> that's a that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, okay, but let's do this one. <laughs> no, no, but uh, we will do the other one, of course. Okay, so now how do we do it? So what we have to do is class to refactor all instances do instances do ups and then uh, of course there are many different ways of doing it I'm gonna say also that maybe all instances do is not we want to talk about that in a moment but uh, an instance we have to put in uh, inst var name new we have to put an instance uh, inst var name old. Is that right? Yes? Let's see if it works. It works. So now we should do the test that you said, yeah, uh, to be sure that it's identical, but it's going to work. So the test is going to pass, yeah, but we could do it. it, it if we do that, it wouldn't, do TDD, it, it wouldn't be TDD, it would be testing, okay? But there's no problem, yeah. Well, that, uh, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So now we have to see that new variable reference, same object as old variable, in subclasses or whatever. Yeah, the names of the tests are not very nice today for me. Okay, so now we have to have a subclass the, of the class to refactor. That is going to be class to refactor subclass instance variable name subclass class to refactor. Yeah. <clears throat> mm, I forgot the. Uh, there you go. And now, what we want to do is to create an instance of subclass of class to refactor. And in that instance, put one and okay, and it should work. Yeah, it's okay. And I have to remove subclass class to refactor. I think that's the test. Excuse me. Remove the subclass before you remove the subclass. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's a good uh, advice. <laughs> Okay, but it fails, and we all know why it fails. So let's start again. Good, good. Cool. So here is not all instances do, but uh, all subclasses. All sub instances do. Yeah? The implementation of that method does all instances do, and with all subclasses, whatever. And you know, uh, maybe for, for you, for us, is this, wh what I did is very simple. I just saw the implementation of the method to be sure that, of the message to be sure that is correct and everything. But these are the kind of things that people from other languages, uh, I mean, don't know how to do and, and don't realize that you can do these kind of things. And I, I always tell them, well, you know, when you're working with Smalltalk, you don't use Stack Overflow. You use Smalltalk, you know? So, anyway, <clears throat> let's see, yeah, all the tests run, and now, the method. Hey, the last one, you have to change the method, the references, yeah, uh, so, references, uh, or methods, referencing, old, var, reference, new var, whatever. So, okay, what we need to do now is, uh, and now, yes, we have to, uh, we don't need this, we don't need this. 
uh, we need to compile in class to refactor a method that references old. Well, I should do it correctly. Old. I don't know. Let's say that it references to one. And I want to rename, and I want then, I, I want that uh, all methods referencing the, uh, there, there are no methods referencing old, and there is one method referencing the new, and that method is M1. Yeah, that's the assertion that we have to write. So we want, and, and here, here is a problem. How do I know all the methods referencing uh, an instance variable. So, okay, but how do I write the assertion? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I could write the assertion that way. But uh, the reason I'm asking that is because that's something I really need to We want to free a method. the source code to be exactly what you, what you, I mean. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> okay, so how do we do it? <laughs> let's, let's start again. With a, another, another way from the one that uh, Rich is suggesting. Recompile every method. How? I mean, recompile, just recompile like that? Because you have the source code. The source code says, oh, I forgot to show that. But the source code, where, where is this? The source code says, old. Ah, there you go. You need the parse tree. We need the parse tree, okay? Because 
we, we could go through all the methods, get the source code, and do a, a, a substring change. Ah, but bad idea, because there could be other strings with that. So what we need to do is to get the parse tree of the method, and then modify the parse tree, or the ASAT, and then generate the source code again and compile. Yeah? So, and that's, that's another beauty of small talk. You can get that pretty easily. Um, self class. Let's get the method. You can, to a method, you can ask the uh, method node. And the method node is what is the root of the SAT, the parse tree. Yeah? And here, for example, you have block. And block is uh, a collection of the statements. Each statement is a collaboration, yes? And you can go inside and start looking at the parse tree, yes? And, and you have to look for the, uh, a node that is a reference to the instance variable. So now the question is, how do I go through the path three because it's not an easy structure to iterate over. So what do you think? How can we do that? Well, there is a visitor. Yeah, that's right. There is a visitor that you can use to uh, visit the path three that's already implemented. Uh, I'm not going to spend time there. I call it rename instance variable applier. Uh, no, that's, this is wrong. Uh, rewriter, yeah. That is a subclass of parse node, parse node visitor. This is an implementation that does nothing. Oh, it just iterates over the parse tree. So this rename instance variable rewriter uh, receives the rename instance variable uh, refactoring, and when it's visiting a variable node, it asks to the refactoring, should rename this instance variable? And if so, uh, give me the name of the new instance variable to change the node. OK? So this is the class I'm going to use. So what I have to do is uh, class to refactor. And I'm going to do it only in the class. Um, selectors do a selector. And now what I need is the method for that selector. There are many different ways of doing it, yes? So I'm, I'm using this one. Class to refactor, compile, method, add a selector. Now that I have the method, I can ask the SAT, yeah? Uh, method, um, method node. And now that I have the, the SAT, I can iterate over it and change it. So I can do a rename instance variable rewriter for self um, visit uh, no um, okay SAT accept okay that's right. that's the way to do it yes so I uh, tell the SAT to accept this, that visitor so after that I can now I can a class to refactor I can compile it the SAT uh, print stream. And that's all we need. Method, SAT, and I think that's all. And the same process. Yeah, that's right. Um, what did I do? Okay. So let's see. Uh, I'm changing all the, uh, well, the uh, references. Now I'm going, go I'm going to go through the selectors. The first selector is M1. I get the SAT. Yes, that's correct. It's referencing old. Now I create the rewriter, do the accept. Now it's going to fail because I didn't implement should rename on the refactoring. I'm going to implement should rename a variable. And this should return true if a variable is equal to old. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, it's going to return true. And now that returns true, it's going to ask for the new variable. So I have to return new. And, okay, 
it's gonna do all the visiting. Let's get here. So after doing that, my SAT should have new. Yes? And now I get the source string for that and compile it. And cool. There we have it. <laughs> On time. <clears throat> So uh, just to mention, and because I'm out of time, um, we implemented, uh, let's see, we think we have implemented like uh, five or six refactorings, add instance variable, extract to temporary, rename instance variable, rename class, rename, uh, what was that? Uh, remove instance variable, sorry, rename instance variable, rename method, and rename temporary. And there are more to come. And it's pretty interesting, it's a pretty interesting exercise, and uh, mm, you learn a lot doing it. So, thank you. And uh, I don't know if there are questions. Cool, no questions, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you already have a teacher. <laughs> oh, I did. It took me three days to write all those refactorings. They are all with TDD, and um, if we run the, um, the test, <laughs> ah, this is the one that is failing because uh, it's the, the one I'm working on. <laughs> but uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there are like, uh, well, I don't remember how many, uh, 98. And of course, there, there are more stuff because you have to check that the new instance variable, for example, in that refactoring is not already defined in the hierarchy. And there are a lot of things that you have to verify, okay? But uh, I think it's a pretty nice example. Yes? Why the player is too present for the object? No, 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 that's a problem because I move it to the, uh, from one image to the other and I forgot the superclass. The, the applier is the one that, uh, uh, if you look at here, that is the right implementation. Uh, it's refactoring applier. That is the, okay, yeah, it was some, nothing important, yeah. Okay, thank you.